Top 10 Best Kingdom Building Manga or Manhwa out there to read. Welcome to our channel, where we bring you the best recommendations for manga and manhwa lovers. Today, we are going to be talking about the top 10 best kingdom building manga or manhwa out there that you absolutely must read. If you are a fan of strategic battles, political intrigue, and epic world building, then you are in the right place. We have scoured the depths of the manga or manhwa world to bring you some of the most exciting stories that will keep you on the edge of your seat. But we don't just want to talk about these amazing titles, we want you to read them for yourself. So, make sure to stick around until the end of the video, where we'll be giving you all the information you need to get your hands on these fantastic reads. So without any further ado, let's dive into the top 10 best kingdom building manga or manhwa out there. Starting off with our number 10, The Law Doesn't Matter. Are you ready for an exciting kingdom building adventure? Look no further than The Law Doesn't Matter, a thrilling manhwa that will keep you on the edge of your seat. Meet Lord Lid, the fourth son of the Lord Yun Yang of the Yun Tian Kingdom, who finds himself transported to another world full of monsters and magic. While he tries to live a peaceful life, his father has other plans for him attempting to use Lead as a sacrifice to increase his first sense power and influence. But Lead is determined to escape this fate and become the lord of his own territory. The action-packed story is matched perfectly by its turning art style, drawing you even further into the world of the Lord Doesn't Matter. While there may be some missing panels and the translation can be difficult to follow at times, this manhwa is a must-try for fans of the kingdom-building genre. Number 9. I'll be taking a break for personal reasons. Are you ready for a unique and exciting fantasy adventure? Look no further than I'll be taking a break for personal reasons. This manhwa that will keep you hooked. Meet Yu Ilshin, a third-rate wave novel author in a society where only hunters are treated with respect. But his life takes a surprising turn when he gains an app on his smartphone that allows him to increase his real-life talents by completing missions and killing ants. This manual combines elements from other popular fantasy stories, such as the mobile app system from I Just Want to Game in Peace, and creates a truly unique and engaging story. The top tier art and stunning fight scenes only add to the excitement, while the well-written characters and excellent world-building make for a must-try fantasy gem. Number 8. I Regress to My Ruined Family this manhwa follows the story of the eldest child of a renowned swordsman family who dies trying to protect humanity from the dragon army. But he's reborn into the same family in a different timeline where the dragons and humans have made a non aggression pact, and his family is treated poorly by other nobles. Despite the bleak situation, the main character has an advantage, immunity from all crimes except treason granted by the previous emperor. He begins his training and gathers allies to aid him in seeking revenge against those who have wronged his family. This manhwa features a captivating story with kingdom building and management elements, and the main character has a decent personality despite his vengeful action. While there is minimal violence and the main character rarely kills anyone, the side characters are well written and have some more likable personalities. The stunning visuals and well portrayed fighting scenes will keep you engaged, while the massive world building with different kingdoms and nobles occupying various lands adds to the excitement. I Regress to My Roman Family is a must read for any fantasy genre, so don't miss out on this incredible adventure. Number 7. I Regressed as the Duke This manhwa follows the story of a reincarnated butler who is reborn as Duke Aron of Braun. Armed with his past expertise in state management, the new duke sets out to rule Bran the right way and save his people from destruction at the hands of the evil uncle, Emperor Zeron. The story boasts a lot of well-executed kingdom building and management elements as well as small-scale territorial fights. As the plot progresses, the young duke must balance being an effective leader with the ruthlessness required to survive in the treacherous world he finds himself in. All the characters are unique and remain true to their roles, and the art is visually stunning. 
I Regress to My Ruined Family is a must read for fans of fantasy manhwa with kingdom building elements, as it offers a great story and well developed characters that will leave you wanting for more. Number 6. I Became the Chief of a Primitive Village in I Became the Chief of a Primitive Village, Shubai, a physically weak novelist who never leaves his apartment, falls from a cliff while hiking and wakes up in a primitive society as a member of a tribe. With the help of a daily assistance system and his modern society knowledge, he transforms his tribe from poverty to an advanced civilization. As the main character, he sets out to build his own advanced territory. This manhwa has an exciting concept and executes the system general well with a lot of good kingdom building elements. The main character is intelligent and leads his tribe with his brain, which is refreshing change from the usual strong protagonist. While the main characters are well written, female characters are generic and over sexualized. The world building is also impressive with different clans struggling for power. Although the translation may have some flaws, the art is above average and easy on the eyes. Overall, I Became the Chief of a Primitive Village is a unique and enjoyable manhwa for fans of the system genre. Moving on to our number 5, I Became the Mad Emperor. In I Became the Mad Emperor, the main character finds himself in the body of the evil and ruthless emperor Excel Trion, but with limited control. Despite his predecessor, he tries to use his knowledge from the future to change some of his actions. The character development in this manhwa is unique, especially for a reincarnation story. The side characters are well written and there are no overly sexualized or stereotypically dumb female characters. The villains are also clever and use their intelligence to further their goals. The art is decent with some bloody battle scenes when the main character engages in combat. There are also some light kingdom building elements present in the story. Overall, I Became the Mad Emperor is a solid reincarnation manhwa with a must try main character that has a unique personality. It's an exciting read for the fans of the genre. Number 4. Return of the Mad Demon In Return of the Mad Demon, Jahali, also known as the Mad Demon, is a martial arts enthusiast who dreams of becoming the god of martial arts. But his ambition is crushed when he falls off a cliff while fleeing from the demonic cult after stealing the Jade of Heaven. However, Jaha is given a second chance when he awakens in his 20s, armed with the knowledge of the future and martial arts skills. This time, he seeks revenge and strives to fulfill his dream without any fail. This manhwa is an absolute powerhouse of the Murim genre with the main character who is overpowered and ruthless but also unpredictable and instinctual. The side characters are also well written and their interactions with the main characters are entertaining. The artwork is excellent with stunning fighting scenes and cool visual effects. Additionally, it has elements of conquering the world, making it even more exciting. This manhwa is a true gem that everyone should try at least once, and it is highly recommended for fans of martial arts and action-packed stories. Number 3. I Became the Tyrant of the Defensive Game In I Became the Tyrant of the Defensive Game, the main character finds himself trapped inside the tower defense and dungeon attack RPG game he played before. To make matters worse, he is stuck in the tutorial stage, which no one has been able to complete. As the story progresses, he starts to realize that he has the power to change the game's outcome and become the tyrant of this world. This manhwa is a thrilling read for fans of the strategy genre. The plot execution is fantastic and the world building is done with precision. The artwork is stunning, especially during the large scale battles. The main character is intelligent and his strategies will keep you on the ease of your seat. Side characters are also well written and add depth to the story. Overall, it's a must read for all fans of kingdom building and strategy genres. Get ready for an exciting journey into a virtual world full of danger and adventure. Number 2. Dawn Empire In the manhwa Dawn Empire, the protagonist Fan Li unexpectedly gains the ability to travel through the time and space, finding himself in the medieval world filled with pastoral songs, wars, and chaos. In this world, he can have multiple wives and concubines, as well as compete with the others. However, Fan Li knows that to achieve his ideal life, he must first focus on making money. 
This is a story of a man using his knowledge from the present to thrive in the past. Although it may seem like a typical isagai manhwa, the story is captivating and engaging. The side characters are also well written, making the story feel more realistic and immersive. Overall, Dawn Empire is a must read for fans of the kingdom building genre, offering a fresh take on time travel and medieval life. And finally number 1. I am the strongest lord in another world. I Am The Strongest Lord In Another World is an interesting isekai manhwa that follows the journey of Richard, a transmigrator who becomes a pioneering aristocrat in another world. With the country under threat from invading natives and a nefarious noble plotting behind the scenes, Richard must rely on the lord system to build frontiers, create castles, and find allies to fight off enemies, ranging from bearmen to goblins. The kingdom building elements and world building are top notch, with an original story that keeps readers on the edge of the seat. While the art is good, it is not always consistent, and the fight scenes sometimes have plot holes. However, the translation, while done by manual scans known for their machine translations, is still readable. Overall, I Am the Strongest Lord in Another World is a must read for fans of Ishikai and kingdom building genres. And there you have it, people. The top 10 best kingdom building manga and manhwa out there to read. With the captivating storylines, well written characters, and impressive artwork, these titles are sure to satisfy any reader's desire for a thrilling and engaging kingdom building experience. Start exploring these amazing titles and see which ones will become your new favorites. Until next time, happy reading!